The I team learns that the driver who slammed into a Subway sandwich shop in Smithfield will not face criminal charges. The manager was killed, five others injured, just about a year ago when the driver early on said he had a seizure. Well, now the attorney general says that's true, no crime. And that is the conclusion. The I-team's Brian Crandall has been checking in on this case for months. He also has the first interview with the family of the woman who was killed. Brian? Well, Patrice and Jean, that crash was a year ago this coming Friday. Just yesterday, police and the attorney general's office met with that family to tell them there will be no criminal charges. One year ago, a horrific crash into the subway at the Apple Valley Mall and devastating consequences. 47-year-old shop manager Charlotte Vaca was killed. I dropped to my knees. I was screaming. You know, my mom was everything to us. There's nothing that can take that pain away. Kaylee Perry Vaca is the oldest of Vaca's five children, alongside her brother Jacob. She was happier than ever, and that was taken from her. So she cared about everybody that she came in contact with. She put 100% into everything that she always did. She was hardworking. My mom was the pillar of support for our family, and when she had passed, it was devastating. Now her family has been told the driver, Jeffrey Barton, 69 years old at the time, will not be charged with a crime. That investigators found he had a medical episode. It's heartbreaking. It, it's, it's a lot to process. There's a lot of grief that comes with that. There's a lot of pain that comes with that. It's changing that survivor's guilt into anger. Subway worker Eliza Solis was knocked out in the crash, suffered an arm injury, and says she now has heart issues. I'm still currently mentally traumatized. And now she's upset there are no charges. She got the call from police today. My life was changed, and I'm not over it. It's, it's unacceptable that we don't even get a chance at justice. Barden first talked to NBC10 within a week of the crash. I had a seizure. <laughs> And, you know, I, I didn't even know what was going on. I never believed his story. So Lise points to the initial crash report, which notes the designation police believe the driver might be under the influence of medications, drugs, and alcohol. Though I'm told, and Vaca's family says authorities told them, Barden's blood test done when he was taken to the hospital came back clean. The attorney general's office, in a statement to me, writes Barden entered the parking lot in a controlled manner, but based on evidence gathered, had a seizure, causing him to lose control. They say Barton had another seizure at the hospital. While saying they sympathize with Charlotte's family and the other victims, quote, criminal charges in this matter are not viable nor appropriate. We were hoping at least for some sort of justice. It will never replace and it will never obviously help heal the fact that my mom isn't going to be here anymore, but we were hoping for something. A year later, the subway is still closed. There are now bollards to protect the entrance Barton's car smashed through and ribbons of remembrance for Charlotte while her family waited. Um, for the fact that it took a year, I can't explain the frustration that caught that cause. The Attorney General's office did not have a comment for us on why the investigation took a year. Now, we reported last summer police asked the DMV to take Barden's license. The DMV won't confirm individual cases, but Charlotte's family and I have been told that his license was indeed suspended, though the family says it upsets them he could eventually get it back. I tried to reach Barden, but was told in his neighborhood he recently moved to an assisted living facility. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC10 News.